Hello and welcome to another episode of Drum Chapel TV. Today we visit Drum Chapel High School where coach Robert Macklin teaches young people how to play pickleball. We're going to find out why they go there, what the young people enjoy about it and most importantly, what is pickleball? Let's go! So Robert, could you quickly just introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm Robert Macklin, I'm a youth development worker from the G15 Youth Project. And Robert, can you tell us what activity is happening here today? So tonight we've got our G15 weekly pickleball session. It's for our young people aged 12 to 16 who stay in Drumchapel and it's on for 12 hours each week. Young people come along, have some fun and play pickleball. Okay, so that leads me very nicely to my next question Robert, what is pickleball? So pickleball, uh, anybody who plays it will tell you that it's the fastest going sport in the world. It's absolutely huge in America and it's grown more in Scotland. It's, it's very big in England um, and Ireland and Europe and stuff like that as well. So it's a, it's a sport that's just grown and grown. Okay, so can you tell us how long you've been playing pickleball? So I started playing about a year ago. Uh, it was a guy that I played badminton with was playing it and he introduced me to it. And then I went along and I've been hooked ever since. It's kind of just taken all, all my time, all my spare time, all my like, hobby time I had. Uh, it's, I'll go stay pickleball now, which is good. So see so you getting back to the young team then, so how many people come along to this session? So each week we'll go up between 8 and 12 young people, and it's a good number for us because we've got three goals, but we're looking to sort of expand that, and hopefully it sort of rolls out more across, you know, Drumchapel, Glasgow and the rest of Scotland as well. Okay, and who can come to this? So just now for our session, it's our members, so anybody who's 12 to 16 who live in Drumchapel, they can just drop us a message on Facebook, um, and just I say a grab, can I come along and then we'll get them signed up for it. Okay, and just for anybody who's watching this, what kind of level are these guys at? And we were like, can anybody come? That's the, that's the beauty of pickleball, but it's so easy to play. So some of the guys have been playing for a few months, some have came a few weeks ago, and they're all hitting a ball. Um, they're not learning anything too heavy or too tactical, it's just about getting on the court, having a wee runabout, having some fun, um, I and just learning. Okay, and are any of these wee guys showing any signs of potential, or are they just in there causing chaos? That both. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're totally fine. Uh, there's a few of the boys that are, you know, they're showing good signs that they're going to be very good players in the future. Uh, and then some of the guys are just sort of playing social just now. But already, in the time they've been here, they're, they're developing and they're having fun. Right, and that's the main thing, isn't it? Absolutely. So, is, do you see in the future any of these wee guys being Scottish champions or British champions? Who knows? Uh, there's a few there that are, you know, showing good signs, like I said, but. Who knows in the future? Hopefully, they're going to good things. Okay, uh, so just going back to you a wee bit, Robert. So, last weekend there, you were just officially announced the Scottish champion, is that right? Yeah, so it was the first ever Scottish Nationals, which took place up in Mogai. Uh, it was on June 2nd to June 4th, and I played in the men's singles, the men's doubles, and the mixed doubles. And luckily enough, I won the men's singles and the men's doubles, and we finished runners up in the mixed doubles. It was a fantastic event, it was a great bunch of volunteers and organisers from Pickleball Scotland who pulled it all together and it was such a good weekend. Uh, you met people from you know every part of the country and it was just good having a chat with them, finding out their stories and they're the most friendliest people you know, across Scotland. It was an amazing, great experience. Seeing your opinion Robert, why is it so important for new sports lists to be exposed into places like Drum Chapel to our young people in our kind of community? Yeah, I mean it's like, it's like, like I said, it's an easy game to play, but also like in Scotland, you know, it's terrible weather. So if you're out playing tennis and it's pissing down, it's not fun. So you know, pretty much every school has got a badminton court. Pretty much most sports centres, in fact all sports centres have got badminton courts. So it's, it's easy enough just to set up a, a pickleball court and get going especially in Drumchapel, so just giving them another sport to them as opposed to the traditional football or tennis and badminton. So how exciting, how exciting is it for you to see these big guys invest their own money and their own paddles? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we provide wooden paddles when they first came along and they're, 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 they're totally fine for beginners. But as they started to develop, they just wanted to play better shots, so get their own paddles just allow them to sort of play more top spin, more side spin, and it's a bit more comfortable in the hand and all of them actually playing shots. So I will uh, Can you tell us why you come here every week? Just to have fun, be with my pals and just be this. Okay, and what do you see for the future of Pickleball for you? Hopefully I get farther out of this so it's good and I go somewhere with it. Okay, nice fun pal. Martin, what do you like about it? I know you're a competitive guy, is that something that matters to you? Yeah, I, I like being very competitive, I like to win and I get people 
Um, so I think pickle is a good sport for that because we train here every day and we play against people every day. It's not all just about training, it's like you get to play against your pals. Cheers pal. And Aaron, do you play other sports? Yeah, I play football. Okay, and where are you at football? How good are you? I'd say decent. A decent, okay. So why do you play pickleball? It gets me to host other sport and then um, I used to play table tennis and then I got told that they're a bit like it so I wanted to come and try and I've loved it. So. That's superb man. And you, do you play any other sports? No, not really. Okay. Um, it's, it's pickleball, I've been playing pickleball because it's just, it's something else, it's easy to pick up but there's still a skill gap, you can still progress through it so it's a good <laughs> sport to pick up. So is it fair to say then that pickleball was giving you a kind of avenue to exercise more and get active? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So Robert, can you tell us what if any adults are watching this why get involved? This is obviously for young people. How do they go about playing this sport? So luckily, locally we've got some really good clubs. Um, we've got Drumchamp and Pickleball Club. We've got Bellstead and Mulgai who are called BAMS. And um, we've also got Glasgow West and it's Gostin. Um, and Drumchapel Tennis Club have now got four courts uh, up at Old Drumchapel. So there's a few options locally for people to just you know, go along and play. What I would recommend is jumping onto the internet, go across to pickleballscotland.org and in, sorry, on that website you'll see various resources and you'll see a new link to show you where to play, who to contact and yeah, just how we get involved. But it's so simple, you just contact the person who runs that club and they're so welcome, they, you know, they'll, they'll bring you along. You don't need to have anything with you either, you just need to show up and play. They'll give you a paddle, they'll give you some balls, they'll give you some basic instructions and then just get you going. Uh, superb. So see in terms of this club tonight then, Robert, could you tell us the details, where it's on, where it's at, just so the audience at home yeah, can sure. figure, find that so out? So this is our G15 Youth Project Pickleball Club. So this is for young people aged 12 to 16. Mostly for S1 to S6 pupils, that's who who's kind of aimed towards. Um, so all they need to do is message the G15 Youth Project Facebook page. Just click on that, send a message saying, Hi Rab, can I come on to Pickleball? And I'll get your name down and you can just show up every Tuesday, 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock at Drum Chapel High. Superb. And the membership of G15, how much does that cost? Everything we do is completely free. Every activity we do is free and this is one more activity that we add um, for young people. Okay, right Rob, thanks for taking an interview. You're very welcome, cheers man. <laughs>